I very much see this uh, COVID as cancer, where it's really critical that there's a very fine, clear orchestration of the innate and adaptive immune system. Um, and that's what we've uh, attempted to do. So um, I'll just share with you all the, um, when I said there's multiple Achilles heels of of this and we're going after all of them. What you see is the vaccine uh, and our vaccine strategy is to take an adenovirus. Now people say adenovirus and adenovirus and adenovirus, it's not. Uh, all the first generation adenoviruses actually have ad immunity. All of us have ad immunity. This adenovirus is unique in the sense it's E2B deleted and the presence of ad immunity in 20 patients and 125 patients are in cancer patients. We have been able to show that we can generate tumor associated antigens because it doesn't secrete its fibers and therefore it is available inside the dendritic cell long for long duration to reduce its transgene. So the combination of a unique vector with the combination of unique construct puts us in a very sort of interesting scientific position. And I obviously will look to um, collaboration with uh, scientists across the country. That's just a vaccine. But there's another way to go about this as well is a decoy. And the decoy is an ACE2 decoy. And we've actually built an ACE2 decoy and um, in our adenovirus, which is a interesting crossover between a treatment and a preventative. Um, and that is now in production uh, as we speak and going through preclinical work. Uh, because we were doing protein, protein molecular modeling, dynamic molecular modeling between a, a tumor and a T cell and a T cell receptor, MHC1 and MHC2 for the last 10 years, we took over the National Lambda Rail, which is a fiber infrastructure. It ran the Large Hadron Collider. That's when I built this for the last 10 years. We built supercomputing platforms across this nation and uh, 300,000 fiber miles at layer one. And we have one of the largest GPU clouds. On that basis, we were actually modeling KRAS uh, and found the grooves in KRAS. We have now modeled uh, the ACE2 receptor uh, to the RVD. We have 100 terabytes of data. We've been modeling for the last eight weeks with about 2,000 GPUs. Um, we, have, we now know the atomic interaction at the molecular dynamic level of every atom between ACE2 and, and, and RBD. What that has led us to is to find antibodies, quasi-neutralizing antibodies. And we now have 19 neutralizing antibodies in development. But the, what's exciting that the picomolar range and the nanomolar range is what ACE2 binds. So um, that is another approach, um, a cocktail of, uh, of picomolar antibodies identified. Um, so you have antibodies on one hand, you have an ACE2 decoy on the other hand, and you've got the um, vaccine on the third hand. And then you've got the IL-15 to treat patients early on, so upregulate the NK and their T cells. And then the final product we just got IND approval for is the mesenchymal stem cell, which we would then be able to inject um, during the cytokine or cytopathic storm to tamp down um, the cytokine storm. So that's the program that's going across Immunity Bio. Um, I'm so proud of our scientific teams that have been at this for decades. and and the teams at the um, genomics level, um, they've converted their skill sets into, into this world.